Hi there, my name is Kain De Salami and I have sickle cell disease. My name is Janika Leah and I have sickle cell. Hi, my name is Stefan Taylor and I have sickle cell. Sickle cell is an invisible condition, so looking at me, I would look like a normal person. You don't look sick, and I'm like, well, with sickle cell, it's a situation where it's an internal illness. You know, it's something that affects your insides, and it may not affect you outwardly, so you may not seem sick. So with dating, that can be tricky because sometimes people don't want to understand why you can't meet up with them in the evenings or have date nights, and they can't understand why you're always in hospital, have to go to clinics and it takes a lot of time away from them. So we've gone to different schools, we've gone to universities, we've helped the NHS, we've actually done our sickle cell blood drive, um, toy drive at King's College Hospital where we actually donate, we've got lots of toys donated from the public. I go around and I do a lot of uh, mentoring, I talk to people who are younger than me with sickle cell and just to let them know that they're not the only ones going through what they're going through. When I wrote the book, I didn't really think of the aftermath. I just sort of wrote it and I thought, I'm just going to do this book. But the, it's been like so well received. Um, there's one little girl in particular, she actually had sickle cell um, and she's had her fair, fair share of complications. Um, she's just like She's just like the character in the book, really. And, you know, she dressed up as the character for World Sickle Cell Day. She brings the book into school for, like, show and tell. She's done a lot since then, and it's really helped her as well in terms of explaining to her teachers and her friends, like, what sickle cell is and what things she has to do. 